what's going on guys, it's Joey Young. Um, right now, I am prepping the tank. I just kind of wiped down the tank. And uh, I'm going to be doing a very basic setup here. It's going to be a very thin layer of sand on the bottom. Um, nothing really special. The whole magic is going to be coming up on the top. I'm doing a um, Wabikusa setup. So it's going to be kind of a immerse setup on the top. Pretty much, I'm just going to use uh, a thin layer of sand on the bottom. I wiped down the tank. So I'm going to be using a thin layer of ADA sand here. And I'm going to go ahead and just scoop a couple. This guy here. And it's very, it's actually very hard to get back in here and maneuver. So just be very careful. Alright, so that's a very, very thin layer of sand that I just applied on here. Um, obviously, the water level is not going to be very much high, so I want to maximize, um, I guess, the space for the critters that are going to be in here. Um, and I don't really need anything special on the bottom. Um, the only reason why I put something down there and, and other people can even just use a bare bottom um, is just to kind of see the, the livestock in there and just to see who's, uh, who's roaming in the bottom. All right, so next, um, when you buy this tank, it comes with a set of uh, pipes um, that are kind of designed for this kind of taller setup. And uh, it comes with a nice spray bar in the top over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these guys opened up and used. So I got it all hooked up. Um, a couple of things to note: um, you may want to trim this depending on how, how high of a substrate you you have or need. So that may need to be trimmed, or you can always put this at a higher level. Uh, that works as well. Uh, let's see what else. The other thing to note is these little things here. They do slide on and out, so you got to be careful when you're putting it together here. And if you just tip it over, it'll slide and fall off. And um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it in terms of that setup. All right, and really, uh, we're really done here in terms of this setup. We just need to basically hook up the filter and 
we will basically just put in water and it's ready to go and whenever we're ready we can just put in the uh, the plants on top of here.